Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my next Focus On video. Make your mark, and Zip's destiny. Aw, poor Zip. But, I appreciate your service. In some ways, it was kind of surprising that Make Your Mark really focused on Zip, but I guess it kind of made sense in that a new generation was mostly about Sunny. Make Your Mark was essentially, as its name implies, Make Your Mark. How do you fit in? How are you going to make your mark in this community? Um, it made sense for Zip to be that next character, to be the character that really had to struggle with where's my f place in the world? Where do I fit in? How do I contribute to this community? At the same time, you thought that this would be easy because she's a princess. She's next in line to the throne. She's gonna be queen one day. She in some ways knows what her destiny and what her future is. And that's the problem from a new generation and here. Zip almost doesn't want to be a princess. Zip and Pip are complete opposites in that, you know, Pip acts like a princess. Zip is almost rejecting it because she knows one day she's gonna be queen. When that happens, you know, any chance of her pursuing her own course and her own destiny and her own path are pretty much gonna be over. She's gonna have to take on all these responsibilities, all these leadership roles. Because yeah, it makes me kind of sad, like in Tell Your Tale and even here, is that she's trying to avoid her own mother. It's like you're not answering your own mother's calls. It's like your mother has this great send-off for you and she says like, oh, why would I want to remember this? And Pip says all the adoring fans, a loving send-off from your mother. <laughs> but it's really not not her mother that she's trying to get away from it's really all these responsibilities and you know all these things that she knows are coming when she becomes queen that's the thing i like about this series is that being a princess is not just being you know like quote unquote being treated like a princess princesses and queens in this universe are things of responsibility leadership these are the things that her mother is trying to teach her and prepare her for and she's like uh, i don't really want to do those but at the same time I don't think she's saying flat no to this. She's basically not looking forward to them. Because Make Your Mark shows that Zip in a lot of ways is in conflict. She doesn't really know where do I fit in here? Where do I belong? How do I contribute? She says, even if all I do is just, you know, fly around and try out new moves. And it's like, and Sunny tries to cheer her up. It's like, well, it makes you happy. It's what you like to do. It makes your sparkle shine bright. That's great. But that might make me feel good, but that's not really contributing anything. That's not making my mark. And yeah, and then at that moment she's saying, well, you know what? Maybe I should listen to my mom. Maybe I should go back to Zephyr Heights and, you know, just stay there and be the princess that she wants me to be because I don't fit in here. You know, I feel bad for her in that situation. I think the good news is that uh, I think it's going to be a while before Zip really has to worry about becoming queen. But at the same time, she obviously has to start preparing for it now. She can't just be going out trying out new moves and then just like, okay, now you're queen now. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. So yeah, Zip is really in conflict here. There's points in Make Your Mark where she's trying to find any kind of excuse to stay here. Come on, there has to be something for me to investigate. There has to be some kind of problem or something for me to look into or do something because I really don't want to go back to Zephyr Heights. But I think the good news is for her in Make Your Bark is that ultimately she learns how to make her bark. She learns where do I really fit in? What do I really like to do? How can I contribute to, you know, the community and Equestria as a whole? Well, you know what? I really like investigating things. I really like trying to figure out how things work. And becoming a detective and learning about magic is how she can contribute to this community and Equestria itself. She's realized that I have to learn about not only magic, but also myself before I'm truly ready to take on these responsibilities. And it does make sense. I mean, even though the main five are definitely not children, they're still young adults and they probably still have a lot to learn about themselves. Hmm, it kind of reminds me of this line from the Star Wars Episode 3 audiobook, but wasn't in the movie, is that a Jedi's education truly begins when he becomes a master. Or translation, when we become adults and we are out there in the real world, we truly learn who we really are. Zip is kind of going through the same kind of thing. Zip isn't saying, no, I do not want to become queen, I will not become queen. She's saying, I'm not ready to become queen yet because I still have a lot to learn about myself. And I also want to learn about magic too, so 
I appreciate that and I like that. So poor Zip kind of had a difficult time here and I feel bad for her because we all want to pursue our own path and now that her path has almost in a way been chosen for her, that's got to be difficult for her but I'm glad that she's not trying to avoid her royal duties completely although for right now, yeah, she's trying to avoid them by even not talking to her own mother but I think that the good news is that when she knows about herself and she's ready to, she will take on those responsibilities but I'm really pleased that for now, Zip has chosen her own path and that she wants to learn about herself Self and magic while she prepares to one day take on her royal duties as queen of the Pegasi. So, roar! So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong, and pony on. Blue Star out.